Hello guys, welcome to another video and um, I got something different here this time around. I was at my local um, wall, uh, local Costco and I actually saw this uh, particular uh, math, uh, math set and um, what really caught my eye with this particular set was one, it was inexpensive, it was uh, $10. Canadian and uh, two what caught my eye another thing that caught my eye was this foldable ruler and three there's actually a mechanical pencil inside the uh, the kit here so as you guys know that um, I'm kind of into mechanical pencils and whatnot I end up getting this just because of this mechanical pencil here that really caught my eye don't really care about the pencils, the racers is, the racer is cool, the uh, sharpeners, I got electric sharpener anyway so I probably won't be using that anyway, but this is what really caught my eye, so this is a 14 piece essential, essential math set, it's from Stadler, so of course you got the, uh, you got a metal compass in here, with ruler, protractor, and, and whatnot, and mechanical pencil, and whatnot. So on the back here, it's actually got the case. You got a pencil case along with it. You got the mechanical pencil. This is a, a four-inch uh, compass. So when it's fully extended, it actually makes an eight-inch, an eight-inch round. A foldable ruler. So a lead, uh, lead tube, oh, so there is actually lead here, that's why, that was also another thing that kind of, I was wondering about that because a lot of, because the older ones actually had a little holder on the side here where you can actually take your pencil, place it on the side. So it looks like there's actually lead built into it, so we'll have to check that out. Of course, two pencils, a sharpener, um, eraser, of course, then you've got a triangle. You got a no, triangle, rect rectangular, and a protractor. And then, of course, you've got the case there. So let's go ahead and um, dig into this. I wonder how I'm going to get into this. As usually, they make these things very um, difficult. So, we'll kind of attack it this way. Let's see if I can get it to kind of lift. Yeah, they, not, they do not make these things really easy to kind of get into because I guess they don't really don't want to um, make it easy to, to, um, to steal, right? Okay, let's, um, let's bear with me here for a second, you guys. I'm going to attack this thing another way. somewhere all right now we're getting somewhere there we go let's peel this all off <laughs> that was a task and a half. Oh, are you serious? This is still glued down? Holy macaroni. Wow. There's the... That. Jeez. Stuff 
pencils, eraser, and we're going to look at the sharpener too. All right. Wow. That was um, actually the most difficult unboxing I've ever done, eh? Okay. So there's the two pencils, the sharpener, the case, and the pencil case. The pencil case is kind of like a hard, kind of like a hard plastic. It actually feels pretty nice. Zipper feels good. So you actually get a little pouch here for all the ends, and you've got a section here for your pencils. And, uh, so they actually got little ridges on here to kind of help it kind of hold pencils in place in a way. So it's a nice pencil case. So we'll put that off to the side for the moment. These pencils I don't like. They're uh, way too smooth in my opinion. These are HB. This is an HB and this is also an HB. They actually feel quite quite thin compared to uh, a regular pencil. Yeah, you can kind of see the difference in in size. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. We'll test out the eraser here. See how this works in a second. I'll take this off too. as well because I'm going to be testing it out. There's the um, eraser. Okay, then let's take a look at this mechanical of this uh, set here. Take this off. I can do this without actually ripping this that was pretty successful there's actually another eraser there too that I'll be curious to check out as well and let's take a look at the set um, press there okay So, the uh, compass is, feels like it's made out of aluminum. This is plastic up here. Okay, so this uh, is kind of resistant. And of course, you got the lead here. So, I'm assuming that you loosen this off. The lead actually. Okay. Bring you guys a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So you loosen off this screw here, you can actually pull the lead out as you go along. And just take and tighten it. It actually holds it in place. But you get a needle over here. So it's pretty cool. So you got stunner on there. Of course this up part here is made out of plastic. Okay. So that's uh, that. Let's see what else here. So here's the actual ruler. So this actually um, unfolds itself, so it actually becomes a full, full-fledged uh, ruler. So we got 12 inches across from the end to end here and of course you can use this to find your angles and whatnot so this of course is all made out of plastic we'll look at the mechanical pencil in a second okay so we got we got refill um also we got one refill but there's also something else in here what is this so 
Oh, okay. So if you actually want to use it as um, a scribing tool, you actually get a needle as well. So that's actually pretty neat. And it's very, very sharp. I don't know if I can really show you guys this or not. Come on, focus. Hopefully you guys can kind of, kind of see it. What happens if I bring it up closer to the camera? Will you be able to focus that? Yeah, so it's kind of hard to tell, but that's actually pretty neat. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on, on here, but I'll just take a chance anyway and see. So that's actually a nice little touch. Well, I'm just curious to see if you can actually buy more of these little LEDs or if you can just use a standard this doesn't really tell me what size the lead this has I'll have to do a little bit of research on that of course you get the rest of um, get the protractor and you've got the uh, triangles and stuff on here as well so you got the protractor that fits nicely on the case here and whatnot and you got the eraser, which is uh, sealed. I'm pretty sure it erases the same thing as this, so I'm gonna just keep that, okay, keep that sealed. So let's go ahead and um, look at this mechanical pencil. Because that's one of the reasons why. Okay, so first of all, it's quite thick. That's one thing I noticed right away. Um, it's quite thick compared to some of the other mechanical pencils I've used. And of course, it's got this um, button on the top here to actually advance the lead forward, and it's actually got some lead in here. This is also a 0.25, <clears throat> and the model number of this mechanical pencil is Stedler Graphite 762 is the um, model number <coughs> excuse me of course you got a cheap plastic clip here which I'm not very a fan of um, so it also does come with an eraser on top so I'm assuming back load this with uh, leads since it comes with one lead plus the one that's attached to the barrel and um, oh actually that's a pretty nice touch it actually has got a little click on the top here so that's uh, pretty neat so let's see how this feels on the hand when I'm writing with it just grab my Pad here. Let's just test this out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it two clicks. Um, actually. I don't like the way this is so tapered like this. It, it when you're writing with it, it feels like the pencil wants to kind of pull back on you because it's so smooth over here. Um, I don't think I don't think it'd be a good idea to uh, buy this set just because of this pencil here because I'm not very not very impressed everything looks so plastically looks like it's all full of plastic and everything it's not really like I mean you can buy you can buy um, better, pe better pencils for uh, for a lot less would paid for this set 
But anyway, let's test out this eraser. Let's see how well it erases. It seems to erase fine. It doesn't get. It looks like it gets dirty just a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so this eraser is. I, I already know these erasers are good anyway. Let's test this eraser in the back here and see how this goes. Like, even this cap's plastic. Yeah, see, this this eraser here actually does a better job than this one here does. But it doesn't get dirty, that's for sure, because it's not that's not very much. Uh, actually, there's no dirt in here at all. So there you go. Um, would I buy it? For the mechanical pencil and only for the mechanical pencil? Probably not. Um, if you're looking for a value and you need this for school and whatnot, then um, yeah, I guess it would be a value. You, you get a lot of stuff here for, for, for a decent price. Absolutely. So that's pretty much my take on this. Um, you could probably buy a better, better quality uh, math set without the mechanical pencil for probably about the same price and whatnot. So, yeah, I I wouldn't. Me personally, I wouldn't really buy it if. Um, if I'm just looking for the actual for the actual mechanical pencil, it's not worth it in my case. It's just better off for getting a better quality a better quality set than anything else. So that's my take on this set. If you um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have certain questions about the set. You can always ask me down below in the comments. And um, if you enjoy the rest of my content, please consider subscribing. And uh, until the next video, goodbye.